Hello everyone, my name is Anton. Today I want to get into a few uh, insider bills that were released for Obsidian. So it's been a while since I've done one of these insider bill videos, but there's been a few releases that have some shiny new things that have been added to the insider bill, which should be coming out to the public release pretty soon. So I want to show some of these notable new features that are in the um, all the way up from 0 0.10.1 to 0 0.10.3. So the first one here I want to show off is the uh, ability now that when you're pasting HTML content from a web page, it will now change the links so that it's formatted in Markdown. And we can do this by one, there is a setting here as well. So if we go into the settings, we scroll down to the bottom, you have this auto convert HTML. So this is now is turned on. If you don't want this feature, then you can actually turn this off. So we have it on now. And what I'm going to do is go to a web page here. Let me change my view. And we'll switch over to a web page here. I want to copy some text here. I'm going to copy this shop online and get specialist help. And then we'll switch back over to the Obsidian application here and we will paste it in underneath this particular feature. So you can see here that it changed the URL to an HTML or markdown format and copied in the text as it's as it should. So that's one feature that's out of the way that'll save some time if you're copy and pasting uh, certain information from the web. Now in 10.2, we have a new feature here where you can embed search queries into your page. So the way we can do this here is we can put in a code block by using the three back ticks and we'll go ahead and close that off. And then you put in the, for the code language as query here. So if we want to do a search, I'll go ahead and search for a, an actual tag that I know that's, that I'm using here in this particular vault. And when I go into preview mode, we can see that the query language that I had comes back with the actual query uh, results here. And you can actually even click on these and, and go to the actual document and the location of where the search was found. So another useful feature here that's coming in uh, 10.2. So we'll go back and let's move on to the next features here. We'll get rid of that. So now we'll go down and see what's new in 0 0.10.3. We have uh, actually a lot of things here that are new in this release. But before I get into these shiny new things in 10.3, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out and it helps get this information out to other individuals like yourself looking for content like this. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get back to the video. And in 10.3 or 0.10.3 here of this Obsidian Insider build, we have now, they've added t uh, nested tags. So this is pretty cool here. Um, so you can have nested tags and one, one way you can use nested tags here, one is if you're gonna use a lot of tags in your documents, this helps you kind of consolidate those within the, within the, um, the pane, the tag pane that you have here. You can kind of collapse things up. So having these nested tags is pretty powerful if you think about it. So if you're doing something like maybe book reviews and you want to kind of capture that the, the review is about a book or a book review, and then maybe you want to get the author, capture the author in a tag, maybe the category of the book and so on, but they're all related to an actual book and you want to somehow keep that context you can come in here and you can add in let me see here we got book and let's say we want to 
uh, capture the author, then we could have, um, say, person one, which is, would be the author one. We can do this here. We can come in here. We can do author two and so on. But you can also do, let's say we have book and then uh, category and then um, cat one and the same thing. So we have the authors here um, underneath the sub to the parent book and then we also have the actual say author's name and we can have multiples of those all stringed underneath this child and then we also have a child of the parent book as category and maybe you have uh, different categories for those books there now when you go to the uh, search or tag pane let's go to the pag tag pane here and we can see how that looks so we have book in the hierarchy you do get this icon here that says show nested tags if you don't do the show nested tags you'll get them individually as so or you can do the nested tags and it shows them uh, in their own hierarchy here so this would be very useful again if you have a lot of different tags that you like to use to describe your documents and there is a parent child type relationship to the tags that you're using now if you go into search you can still search for these here let's go and search and we will do uh, what is it? book and when you do the search on book you can see the the actual tag comes back for book uh, author and category and all the different ones that have that particular tag in it okay so that's pretty cool there let's move on to one of the next ones go ahead and get rid of this and the next one here uh, is the search now has three more operators so we can now um, when you're doing a search you can search on a line so if you if you want to have different search terms as it shows here like foo and bar it will search for those two separate words and bring back the results only if the results are on the same line and this this just allows you to kind of narrow in again on what you're looking for at the line level and they also have it for the block level and also the section level so this is another nice new shiny thing that they've added to this insider bill They've revamped the hotkeys here. I won't get too much into this here. It's, to me, it, there's not too much of a change here. In the UI, you still get to hotkeys and make the changes as usual, and it's not breaking anything that you already have. And we have here also, you can now drag and drop links to the pane header. So if we're in the link pane, and maybe we'll split this view vertically and let's say we want to open up uh, we've found this particular link here and we want to have it open up in this pane you can drag and drop it to the header of the pane so just another way to be more efficient and kind of have more convenience with opening up links in obsidian we'll go ahead and close out of this let's close that pane again and see what else we have so and lastly here it shows that you can now see the time of the file when you hover over it so if we open up the Explorer here and hover over a file we can now see the last modified date and time and also the created date and time okay so these are some pretty cool um, new shiny things that have been added to these three different insider bills hopefully they should be out in, in a public release soon and you can get a hold of this if you're not an insider. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.